कोई भी पॉडकास्ट परफेक्ट नहीं होता है उसे परफेक्ट बनाना पड़ता है इसीलिए मुझे एज अ को होस्ट बुलाते हैं On today, has it aged well? We are discussing Rang De Basanti from 2006. Why did it bring a revolution? Will it still bring a revolution? We'll find out with a guest after this break. Hello, it's been a great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On the Wire Talks, Siddharth is joined by journalist and Congress MP Kumar Ketkar. They talk about the Shiv Sena's past and present and whether it has changed with Uddhav Thackeray leading it. On advertising is dead. Varun talks to Karthik Johri. He is the vice president at Nobel Hygiene. He speaks about the challenges the brand faced and the opportunities in the absorbent market space. On the habit coach, Ashton explains why our desires lead to suffering in our lives. On simplified, the gang in its two-part series continue to bust myths around food, zeroing in on the most dreaded word, calories. And on all things policy, the Takshashila team discusses the role of markets in higher education and how government regulations impact the sector. Once again, don't forget to visit our merch store on ivmpodcast.com. We have some exciting new merch out there for you. Also, do follow us on social media. We are IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And do remember to spread the word about these shows and any other shows you might be listening to. Appreciate them, rate them, and review them wherever you are listening to them. You can also check out all our other shows on YouTube.com/slash/IVMPodcasts. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week: Volvo XC40 Recharge, Bumble, Heads Up for Tails, Kotak Privy League Program, and HDFC Mutual Fund. Thanks, guys. Without you, this would not be possible. And we're back. This is Has It Aged Well? My name is Abbas, and with me is my co-host Urjita. Hello, Divya Sir. How are you? Shabash for living and enjoying life. Already? Yes. Okay. Uh, Urjita, today we're talking about Rangde Basanti, which is uh, one of the most uh, popular, but also kind of polarizing films that we have had in the last. Uh, 15 to 20 years मुझे बोलते हुए भी थोड़ा ऐसा लग रहा है कि इस फिल्म को भी 16 साल हो चुके हैं बिकॉज इट्स इट्स स्टिल फ्रेश इन माई हेड एज वेल हो रही है <laughs> जवान हो रही है पिक्चर सेलिब्रेट करो I have some very fond memories of uh, watching this, and uh, to talk about the movie with us today on the panel, we have someone who is also kind of sort of associated with some uh, country related national uh, level uh, topics, who brings uh, brings to the who brings to the forefront some uh, very important issues that we should know about mm-hmm. and often uh, leaves us flabbergasted uh, when he <laughs> is done uh, today with us we have uh, the one and only uh, meghna hello we didn't know you were a freedom fighter man <laughs> i know i was just wondering ki kya intro de raha hai mera I mean, you've had a history with uh, the Sansad and the political oh, yeah. and oh, yeah, uh, yeah. social history revolutions. Our, yes, and starting campaigns. Some and would say you're a revolutionary yourself. Of course. Yes. So of basically, course. are you trying to say that Kesariya Tera Ishke Pia means something else to you? <laughs> <laughs> Different movie did not need to be discussed today, but why not? Sarfar Roshi ki tamanna dil mein hai does mean something. To yes. Me. Yes. <laughs> Uh, we're talking about Rangde Basanti right. from 2006. Uh, as a fellow millennial mm. who uh, who is now in his 30s, um, you must have also been close to my age when this film came out. Oh yeah. So we'd love to talk about uh, where you saw this film and what happened. Very funny story. Uh, mm. I used to work. Uh, I think 2006 was mm. when I was uh, in 11th standard, right? Okay. And uh, basically. me and my friends were allowed to go to movies only after 10th standard right so we had this series of movie watching after that like every week we would just go and watch something um but then when rangde basanti came out we went and watched with a set of friends but then uh they were like mujhe ek aur baar dekhna hai but then the plan never came together oh. but then i found another set of friends saw it again with them then i found another set of friends and saw it again again in the theater so i saw it three times in the theater wow. so this movie is the reason why you socialized i was i dude this is a realization i had much later when i was seeing uh, rangde basanti for the fifth time mm-hmm. um, i think a few years ago when i like in 2014 types i saw it um, Uh, the sixth time I saw it two years ago. Now this is the seventh time. So th- in twenty fifteen, <laughs> is this also you got him to do this podcast? <laughs> yeah, you I told like, you. You were you 
उर्जिता <laughs> the synopsis of rangde basanti a white woman feels guilty about colonialism so she decides to make a documentary about the indian freedom struggle instead of taking actual actors she decides to cast six unhinged college students while shooting for the documentary their life overlaps with the characters that they are playing and this forms the plot of the classic rangde basanti as we know it all right uh, now that we have that out of the way um so you said you were in 11th standard when you saw the film for the first time yes i was in my first year of dentistry in bangalore okay uh, i had just moved to bangalore and i remember watching this with a very loud raucous crowd in a single screen theater oh. all college students cheering hooting at every uh, every moment every chance that they got and i could almost sort of uh, feel the uh, sort of transition from it being like are ye to hangout movie are college college alon ki movie yaar kya movie ho romance bhi ho raha hai and these mm. people are having so much fun to the end where sir faroshi ki tamanna ab hamare dil mein like where uh, they went i mean when everybody came out of the theater you could see this is a like shock on yeah. their face yeah no I, i that's that's the beautiful thing about this movie right because it starts off and towards the middle of the movie when things start getting serious and when you come out of the theater it's like what what did yeah, i just yeah, watch yeah, like yeah. it was a roller coaster ride of yeah. emotions and uh, also i remember it's not the way they have crafted the movie it is so beautiful by the way fun trivia hmm. uh ye movie uh, rakesh chopra prakash mehra ne do ya teen baar pura likhi thi he has rewritten the whole movie twice or thrice okay. so the first time when he wrote it it was just supposed to be a normal film jisme ye sab cheeze hote ye beats se ki ye college students se baad mein ladte etc etc but then uh, he narrated the idea and he basically had shot it like a documentary right so then it was supposed apparently it was supposed a to be a documentary filmmaker trying to make a documentary hmm sounds familiar <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so it was supposed to, he had shot it like a documentary uh-huh. and then he actually showed that documentary to a bunch of delhi students i okay. think jnu i am not sure right, about this right. part but i think they were jnu students and then they gave him feedback unka feedback sunne ke baad he changed the whole movie and then because of their feedback we see rangde basanti the way it is so but did he not have the layer of the history and then making it together bring it together he, he had all of that oh. but i think maybe they were instrumental in changing the way these guys spoke to each other hmm. because wo jo college okay. students jis tarah se wo baat kar rahe right, ek dusre se right. wo proper delhi hai hmm, like right. even though main delhi student nahi hu main delhi kabhi uh-huh. delhi ke students se maine baat ki nahi thi tabhi but even i could feel this is not mumbai but then i can relate ye students hai but okay my confusion here would be that so if rakesh om prakash mehra had to do a documentary it would be on the history part of the movie hmm. which we have seen right, right? Yeah. you know it's about you know bhagat singh and chandrashekhar and the kakori kand and mm-hmm. dyer ko kaise mara all of that stuff mm-hmm. right that's the documentary right mm-hmm. and then maybe later drafts mein he came up with the yeah. delhi ha, yeah, like oh 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 i can just bring these characters out of that pe- time period and plonk them in the current time period yeah. and let's see what yeah. happens ha, maybe yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah maybe that could have happened yeah because there is one particular scene which actually captures this so when they are walking towards the radio station the five of them mm-hmm. they briefly change into their avatars in the yeah. documentary yeah. right yeah, 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 yeah. so that is when i thought oh shit ye to like i mean he's like making this thing ki say bhagat singh if he was alive in hmm. this was set in 2000 i'm yeah, guessing yeah, yeah. if he was alive in 2000s what would he have done hmm. and you know sukhdev if he was there what yeah, would he have done yeah. because all of their characters also in the current time hmm. are also matching the characters of the historical figures and also uh, like adding to what you just said uh, it could also be maybe a perspective uska ye hoga ki yaar 
हम फ्रीडम फाइटर्स के बारे में जब जब ही सोचते हैं तो हम ना उनमें और हम में एक गैप देखते हैं कि वो तो भगवान टाइप है बट दैट इज व्हाट द पॉइंट ही वाज ट्राइंग टू ड्राइव 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 अक्रॉस कि वो भी कॉलेज स्टूडेंट्स थे तुम्हारे हमारे जैसे एग्जैक्टली 23 ईयर ओल्ड या वो भी माय एज बेसिकली सो दैट्स व्हाट ही वाज ट्राइंग टू से कि वो भी हमारे तुम्हारे जैसे ही थे बट दे देयर वाज जस्ट वन थिंग दैट ड्रोव देम लाइक द स्पिरिट कि बाबा ये करना है तो करना है आई आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन या डू यू थिंक इफ दीस गाइस वेयर in that period do you think they chilled like the ones that they showed here because there are so, some scenes right where the characters are also like sitting and chillum book at chill kar rahe hain i'm sure so it's 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 really fun that you brought that up because i'll another point so uh, i don't know if you have seen it but there are there is there some unreleased footage from rangde basanti on okay. youtube i'll share the links with you you sure. can add it i i'm not sure if it's still there on youtube <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but usme bhi exactly what you just said ek scene aisa dikhaya hua hai jisme भगत सिंह राजगुरु चंद्रशेखर आसाद वो सब मूवी देखने जाते हैं। हैं वो भगत सिंह No wonder why they did not keep it in रंगदे बसंति बिकॉज आई फील लाइक दे डि नॉट वॉन्ट टू ह्यूमनाइज दो कैरेक्टर्स बिकॉज फिर वो उनका भी इफ यू थिंक अबाउट इट उनके जो पर्सनैलिटीज दिखाई थी वो मूवी में दो हिस्टोरिकल कैरेक्टर्स वो भी काफ़ी यूनि डिमेंशनल थी बिकॉज वी वॉन्टेड टू लाइक मे बी फोकस ऑन ये कॉलेज स्टूडेंट्स राइट सो ये जो था ना ये ये थोड़ा अलग उसमें क्या होता है सो देन एंड ऑल्सो बिकॉज इंडियन ऑडियंस आई थिंक थोड़ा डम डाउन करना पड़ा होगा मे बी दैट्स वाई दे रिमूव दैट सीन सो बेसिकली वॉट दे वॉट दे डू इज दे गो टू वॉच दैट मूवी ठीक है एंड ओवर देर Everybody is having fun, hmm. and except for this guy, uh, Bhagat Singh, he's like, oh. ये क्या कर रहे हम? Ah, क्या है? Okay, ये okay. सब क्या है? हमें ये नहीं करना चाहिए. And then Chandrasekhar Rajasthan says that he's like, कि it's fine to take a break once hmm. in a while. Hmm. I mean, of course he says it in his way. Of course, yeah. But then that's what he says. Hmm. So yeah. But I'm yeah. sure they. It's like कलम से हम रोज लिखते हैं. लेकिन कभी कभी कलम हमको टेबल पे रख भी देना चाहिए. Revolutionaries must not be giving incendiary speeches 24/7, right? They also need time <laughs> yeah, to relax yeah. and chill yeah. yes. and uh, do all those things. But Urjita, we didn't ask you when did you first uh, witness or watch uh, Rangde Basanti. in the theater only oh, you did? i when did this movie come out 2006 i was 8 years old oh okay Sorry. yes i was 8 years old i watched it in the theater with your I, parents yeah, i'm assuming with my parents yeah. and i enjoyed no with my boyfriend <laughs> 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 what do you expect <laughs> <laughs> As an so, eight-year-old, because that's a very impressionable age yes. when you're watching these. I understood it. Huh. I loved it, huh. and I remember I wanted to watch it again. I was like, "Me, I want to be freedom fighter." Mm. So that and as an eight-year-old, yeah, and I kid you not. Abhi bhi main dekhti hu. It's my favorite movie. Hmm. I watch, and for some reason, I feel like watching it every time I'm taking a flight. <laughs> But then, why has it become my flight? When movie? I took off, I was a, a I was an yeah. irresponsible youth. When yeah. I landed, I want to fight for my country. <laughs> yeah. So then I every time. I watch that movie. There is just something about yeah. it where, like, okay, freedom fighter, yes, yeah. and it just it, the feeling doesn't go away. Yeah. It's just like I want to do something. Mm. So the film opened on January twentieth, two thousand six. Okay. So uh, I remember we knew it had to do something with patriotism, but the trailers didn't exactly give away what the film was yes. about. And of course, it was coincided to release with Republic Day, mm. uh, which was like a week after the film released, and. Uh, I don't remember, but I don't think the Bhagat Singh Chandrasekhar Azad portion was at all showed in the it, in the trailers. It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't. Yeah, 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 because yeah, yeah, I remember, yeah. I remember watching the trailer also and thinking this is a regular college movie. Because I remember, what trailer maybe part chala uh, song ke scenes dikhaya right. rehte. Exactly. Wo daru daru pite hue, yeah, naachte yeah, hue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so, the I think the so okay so I think during that time also no, it, it was a different. way that movies were getting promoted also okay. i feel like yeah. they were getting promoted more as cassettes yeah. the songs yeah. came first yeah and then uh, i mean or either like it's simultaneously released or a week before or something and then the songs got popular yeah. rangde basanti the song yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah. like defining so then when you heard it you don't think of freedom fighters and them dying in the end yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. or even apni jo paatshala masti again you don't think of like the same thing. Right. there is this middle me song uh, which is sir for roshi ki tamanna there is mm. this whole thing then you're like what is happening mm. here exactly right this, but the most of the iconic songs which they were promoting back then were all like fun and you know like yeah. does not really give away what the movie is really right, about yeah. mm-hmm. 
So the movie starts. We are witnessing the film from the point of view of this uh, woman called Sue, who mm. is a Britisher, yeah. and she has chanced upon a diary written by her grandfather, who was a jailer when the British were ruling India. And firstly, I have to say, off the top of the, my head, uh, when the film starts and they show what I'm assuming is the BBC studio, hmm. it does not look like a BBC studio like at BBC all. Studio. It is what your average Times yeah. now or uh, you know NDTV studio would look like today in yeah. Lower Parel or in Delhi. Before you come to that, I have an Easter egg there. Yes. Uh, so Bhagat Singh, they show him reading a book, hmm. right? When they show uh, Bhagat Singh there, right? Um, he's reading Lenin. Like right. he closes the book and he's reading Lenin, mm. and then in the very next scene you see Sue also reading the diary, mm. and she closes it. It's the same book. Ah, like okay. so, the cover is the exact matching. I was like, "Ye bhi Lenin pad rahi hai, wo bhi Lenin pad raha tha. What ah. is happening here?" But I saw it again, and it just looks like the same book which right. both of them were using. Like so you are saying, there should have been more wear and tear on the book. Uh, that Sue is reading. No, I mean Bhagat Singh was reading a book called, by Lenin. It was right. just written Lenin on it. Right. <laughs> so I don't know what it was. Yeah. But then when Sue is reading her grandfather's diary, diary yeah. why is it still Lenin? Still Lenin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. Okay, I did not notice that. This yeah. is a broken Easter egg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's continuity error. I'm continuity guessing. Error, yeah. 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 Yeah.
So do you think the college portrayed in the film is like an amalgamation of uh, JNU, DU, Sri Ra- Lady Sri Ram? It's college, definitely Delhi the... University. Okay. I mean, just by the feel of it uh-huh. and the people there, uh-huh. it feels like a Delhi University college. Okay. Also, by the way, uh, remember that scene where uh, uh, they are interviewing people for the documentary? Yeah, wonderfully done. I still so find it funny. So, there are two actors <laughs> in the documentary. There is one influencer, Shivani Vedi. Mm-hmm. Okay. She's in that. Uh, so, I she so I watched that thing again and uh, there's Shivani Vedi in that. And uh, another one is, I forgot his name. Abhishek Banerjee. Abhishek Banerjee, yes. yes. It's really? His, he's credited yeah. as it's, it's his first screen appearance. Yeah. Oh, Abhishek wow. Banerjee, for those who don't know, is playing uh, has played the bad guy in Patal Lok, the uh, yeah. Amazon series. He's been yeah. a lot of movies. Hmm. So yeah, Abhishek Banerjee uh, pops in for like a second right. to say one line. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. But they're yeah. also like universally bad, no? <laughs> I mean... I guess they're meant to be because they have to, to show... They're meant to be bad, yeah. If yeah. you liked any of the characters, uh, then they didn't do the job. Well. That's also true. <laughs> like they're all... It's funny. That sequence is funny though. Yeah, it's, it's funny. still funny. I, I I laughed at like one or two yeah. of those yeah. things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as I wanted then for fast forward to the hangout place that we are then introduced to, where uh, the canteen. Uh, no, not the canteen. Where the when uh, Kunal Kapoor, right? Ha. Huh. Kunal Kapoor's character is drawing a thing, and uh, uh, Sukhi. Oh, and the the DJ Nahargarh Fort are having what's that? Nahargarh Fort. That's the Nahargarh Fort. Yeah, that's the Nahargarh. Fort. Ah, okay. Yeah. So the and the, do people do do college students actually chill there like that? I don't think so. <laughs> I've never been, okay. but I doubt it. Okay. <laughs> and I I I have never again I have never been there. But uh-huh. that water pond, hmm. I'm not sure if it exists or they just made it there. It doesn't. Abhay is saying no. <laughs> yeah. So it was only made for them to fall over when they are drunk. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I don't think anybody really fell over. They just had to. They just show show like two people just going like this and yeah. then splash. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. Watching that scene with my doctor sister and she was like कि उसका ये dislocate हो जाएगा पीते पीते वो गिरा तो no and also <laughs> once they go inside hmm. and if you see like them doing chup chup on in the पानी it's knee length water dude hmm. how did how, oh, they yeah. would like splat die yeah. as they yeah. like the Arang entire the thing would end way earlier <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's like suki suki ओ फट मर गया रंग दे बसंती would symbolify <laughs> this guy's blood <laughs> So, of all the characters we are introduced to, mm. who would you want to actually be friends with in, uh, in real life? Uh, I think Soha Ali Khan, uh, Kunal. Kunal, I think. Kunal. Actually, And yeah, Kunal. Kunal. Mm. I think he's the only one who sells the character because, other than that, all of them come across as really irritating. If I was friends with them yeah. in real life, yeah. yeah. Uh, also, yeah. if you if you would have noticed, uh, Sharman Joshi is playing a character who is the exact opposite of Sharman Joshi's character in Three Idiots. <laughs> How? I so in three idiots he plays this character who's just focused, very, who's yeah, very yeah, serious. वो डरा हुआ है. Right. And यहाँ पे उसका brief exact opposite है. बिल्कुल भी डरा नहीं है. बिल्कुल भी पढ़ा कुछ नहीं है. Future की कोई पढ़ी नहीं है. That's true. He's the exact opposite. Oh, that's true. Another person I would like to be friends with is uh, DJ's mom. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah she's yeah, very DJ's sweet. Mom. Yeah. But that was just Kiran Kher uh, doing Kiran Kher yeah, things yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in a movie. Um, but I just want to talk about so in hindsight, do you think the It's a little over the top the portrayal of these kids as too sort of unhinged. के मतलब कुछ भी कर रहे हैं मतलब I don't think not really not yeah, really they... I think they were fine. Uh, I I imagined um, so like later I think when I thought about it, um, DJ's character is. Actually, universal in Indian colleges, right? Yeah. Which right. is there is always this one guy who just can't leave college. college I feel like DJ was just not even attending college because he had already passed out. Right. Mm. He was hanging around yeah, in yeah, the yeah, college. Yeah. Yeah. He's one of those seniors who just can't get over it, right? Right. right. Yeah, yeah. And for like a few years, they'll just hang out, like smoke up, and just chill with like juniors or whoever mm. it is. And uh, it, it's like, and he says that in one yeah, dialogue yeah, yeah. also yeah. that. बाहर बाहर जाके मैं क्या करूंगा टाइप्स आई रिटर्न यूनिवर्सिटी के गेट के इस तरफ हम जिंदगी को नचाते हैं और उस तरफ दुनिया को नचाती है टीम लख लख पे आल्सो आई थिंक आई रेड समवेयर दैट दैट वाज पुट इन टू जस्टिफाई द फैक्ट दैट आमिर हु लुक्स क्लियरली ओल्डर देन द रेस्ट ऑफ द गैंग या टू टू जस्टिफाई व्हाई ही स्टिल इन कॉलेज विद दीस बॉयज 
so yeah. they never mention it but it's i think it's uh, it's a bit obvious like that he has no classes to attend sort right. of a thing yeah. right yeah. Uh, maybe i think uh, sid and uh, what's his name sharman joshi mm-hmm. yeah. i think they were actually in classes but they never attended because they never say that they are the same age also yeah. Yeah. so it's like it might be like juniors and seniors sort of hanging out together as a Quite gang possible, yeah. right. i don't know why, but possible. i think apart from suhali khan's character all these students look like they would fail all the time because they oh, not sure because you are the girl no like and, and it makes karti hogi, it's that. no i mean yeah. it also makes sense because ye sab cheeze uh wo history dekh ke seekh rahe hain like yeah. when they are playing out these mm-hmm. characters mm-hmm. is when they are learning the things mm-hmm. and also like uh, coming back to the question you had popped earlier yeah. ki uh, ye log thode zyada unhinged nahi lag rahe mm-hmm. so i think the reason why these characters are shown unhinged from the start is because you know it takes लाइक थोड़ा तो भी तुम अग्रेसिव और थोड़ा तो भी तुम लाइफ में आई डोंट नो आई डोंट नो व्हाट्स द राइट वर्ड फॉर इट थोड़ा तो भी अग्रेसिव होना चाहिए टू एक्चुअली यू नो ब्रिंग ब्रिंग अबाउट सम चेंज ओके ऐसे हमारे तुम्हारे जैसे लोग नहीं कर सकते फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल सो आई टेल यू नो सो आई टेल यू व्हाई आई आस्क दैट बिकॉज़ द वन टाइम इन माय लाइफ व्हेयर आई केप्ट थिंकिंग अबाउट रंग द बसंती अगेन एंड अगेन वाज व्हेन कन्हैया कुमार के ऊपर सेडिशन वाला केस लगा था फॉर फॉर दोस स्लोगन्स राइट एंड कन्हैया एंड उमर खालिद वर पुट इन जेल and that is the one time where news channels were actually showing us things from inside the campus where right. kanaiya would come back from the jail and he would give speeches and ndtv would live telecast right. those right so uh, i kept thinking of the uh, so which kanaiya kumar thing happened way after like mm-hmm. 2016 16 think, yeah. 10 years after the yeah. movie came out right yeah. um because as a bombay college kid i have zero political yeah. uh, experience in college yeah. the most revolutionary thing we do in college is college fest mein aap purple uh, wallpaper ki jagah red wallpaper use kar do theek hai we don't have student elections even if they are they are very like civilized and subdued yeah. so for me the whole delhi political scene student politics scene came to the fore when uh, the kanaiya kumar thing happened actually uh, You're right in a way, yeah. but uh, I, I mean this movie should be called Foreshadow the Basanti <laughs> because <laughs> like they foreshadow so many things. Yeah, It's yeah, crazy. Yeah. I've I've written down one line for yeah, example, yeah, right? Yeah. So these guys are coming back uh, from that Nahargar fort all drunk and mm-hmm. they go into like Kunal Kapoor's gully, right? Yeah. He they go inside the house and they're a very traditionally Muslim house, yeah. right? Now it's supposed to be cha- uh, the Chandni Chowk. Chandni Chowk area, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I guess like yeah. your Chowdhury Bazaar. Chandni right. Chowk type. Um, they go in now. Uh, Om Puri is there. His dad, who is like, oh, क्या तुम्हारे मुँह से बदबूवारी थी और तुम ये कर रहे थे. The boy though, hmm. the boy comes and he's like shown as this surma pen ke typical yeah, yeah, like yeah. radical. One more trivia from that, for for that. Huh. That actor is from Bhivandi, which is where I, <laughs> which is where I also live. <laughs> Anyway, carry on. <laughs> He says this one line, which is, uh, is "Na kabi Muslimano ko apna mana tha, na manega." That means, ye Bharat aisa desh hai, is mulk ne. And I was like, "Hmm, interesting foreshadowing." Hmm. And then another, <laughs> another. Foreshadowing. <laughs> What's the opposite of foreshadowing? No, but that's the thing, right? Past Meghna, me I mean, yeah. it's not like the sentiment is new. Yeah. You can you can there. say they were foreshadowing for later scenes in the movie. Sure. Yeah. Or if you look at it. back now they might be foreshadowing for what is happening right now so uh, it's yeah, but, interesting uh-huh. you bring that up sorry i just wanted to cut you here uh, so uh, he's shown as a muslim hater hmm. like a proper muslim hater to uh, atul kulkarni, kulkarni, atul kulkarni right, yeah huh. atul kulkarni shown as a muslim hater yeah. to aise muslim hater wale character humne purane bollywood movies mein bhi dekhe the right. huh. correct तो इफ दिस वॉज एनी अदर टिपिकल बॉलीवुड ओल्ड मूवी तो इसका जो अवेकनिंग है वो कैसे होते दिखाते हैं वो स्पीच वीच बोलते हैं कि मैंने तुम लोग को कभी अपना माना नहीं था बट नाउ आई रियलाइज हम लोगों में सेम ब्लड है बॉलीवुड कैरेक्टर ये सब स्पीच दिखाते हैं बट उन्होंने ये सब नहीं किया।, नहीं किया उसका जो पूरा अवेकनिंग था वो सिर्फ एक छोटे से सीन में दिखाया हुआ है व्हेन कुनाल इज बीटन अप और उसके रूम में yes. बैठा है वो यस या सो वो रूम जो वो रूम में ऐसा पूरा बैठा हुआ है एवरीबॉडी लीव्स ही वेट्स फॉर एवरीबॉडी टू लीव बिकॉज़ ही इज टू अशेम्ड टू स्पीक इन फ्रंट ऑफ देम and he just looks at he just walks towards him he has so many things to say and his eyes yeah. have like just so many things in his eyes okay he's like मैं वो तुमने सॉरी 
yeah he just says sorry and he leaves yeah, like he yeah, we don't need yeah. anything else and then cut to directly jab bhi unka wo death wala scene hota hai yeah, oh yeah. listen kunal kapoor and um, uh, atul kulkarni yeah. are my favorite pair in this movie yeah. 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 their bromance is just a storyline in itself yeah. right you yeah. know like they start with this like mara mari karke <laughs> and end with like holding hands and dying yeah, yeah, together yeah. i was like oh my god ye kahan se kahan pahunch gaya so that's the note even i made is that 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 th- the Atul Kulkarni character transition, I think, is the thing that has aged the best. Yeah. Yes, because despite his intro scene, uh, Atul Kulkarni is something we've seen on every Valentine's Day. We see it more so now. Yeah, okay, people wearing saffron he, shorts. He used a line during the intro scene, uh, which which was, "Peet piche kya chugli karta hai ladkiyo ki tarah." Right, you know, and yeah. mupe bol na mere, and then yeah. they get into like yeah. a fight, you yeah, know. Yeah. Uh, So his intro scene is this violent uh, saffron shawl wearing uh, guy who's beating the students up oh, oh. Mm-hmm. but still in the upcoming scenes they maintain his uh, sort of uh, this thing that he actually loves his country he actually wants oh, to yeah, work yeah. for yeah. it yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but he's misguided and there's that scene where uh, the for lack of a better word the the guy who's handling the shakha he's working at mm-hmm. oh, yeah, offers yeah. him money and yeah. he says nahi mujhe paise nahi chahiye i genuinely believe in this yeah, uh, yeah, ideology yeah. main yeah. party ke liye kaam karna chahta hu exactly yes. but uh, before we take a break so uh, megnan my question to you is that A would um, would a character arc like this be okay? Will it f- sell if a portrayal like this was uh, depicted in a film today? And secondly, has the uh, average sangi character gone uh, through that stage where they can be uh, rehabilitated? Re- rehabilitated. <laughs> Because अगर like ये पिक्चर आज बनती तो वो ट्विटर ट्रोल होता yeah. होती होती है डेफिनेटली बट आई ऑल्सो फील लाइक दिस मूवी दिस दिस पर्टिकुलर अतुल कलकर्णी कैरेक्टर इट वुड हैव बीन बैश्ड बाय द राइट विंग द लेफ्ट विंग आल्सो इन सम वे बिकॉज़ सम पीपल माइट हैव कॉल्ड हिम अ संगी सब माफ कर दिया हां संगी अपोलॉजिस या कि मतलब आल्सो अच्छा सिर्फ उसने उसको हॉस्पिटल भेजा तो तुमने माफ कर दिया माफ कर दिया एग्जैक्टली आई मीन नो एंड दैट्स द थिंग सो हिज रिडेम्पशन आर्क इज आई मीन ही गोस एंड डज दैट थिंग एंड डाइज नो I mean that mm. is his redemption arc. Like, yeah. so essentially, in today's time, mm. uh, if say for example a radical sanghi was like you know like chilling with some liberals and then they uh, like fight this extremely revolutionary war and then while fighting the righteous war he dies amongst them. Yeah. Mm. That's redemption, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> like even now, if that happens. Also, also if now they were to show Rang, uh, a Sanghi character, so his backstory is not showing. He is showing for the country. His backstory is showing that he is unemployed. He is not able to do anything. So that's why he is doing this. Because his eyes are open. So he's like, so he knows that whatever he is doing is wrong. But he's like, he has to do something. So he's like, so he knows that whatever he is doing is wrong. But he's like, he has to do something. So he's like, so he knows that whatever he is doing is wrong. Okay on that note we'll take a short break and uh, we'll be right back right after this I have a very funny story can i say it Hi I'm Shweta I'm Navya's mother Hi I'm Shweta I'm Navya's mother <laughs> I am Navya's nani my name is Jaya Bachcha Hmm I got nothing over here guys <laughs> It's a big day for me Okay start what the hell I was saying something very nice and empowering and you just interrupted me. Don't complain, don't explain, never explain. <laughs> Let me say it. I have my little secrets. Hello madam, how are you? I got your number. I told you don't get me started. Mom. When you want to do money pinching, you are also very good. I've seen you. I've noticed. <laughs> I finished this many books. You're still on your first book. I finished so many books. You're. I'm like, what the hell? Leave me alone. Definition of love has changed today. I'm too old for all this. Navya, there's a wonderful lake. Go and jump into and it. And drown and it. Drown. And she does. Oh my God! Stop. <laughs> what are you saying? What the hell? It's important to have friends. My best friends have been Navya and Shweta. Aww. I have a problem saying no. You better learn. It's the it's, it's the, the best, best wo- word. Oh my oh god. god. <laughs> okay. What the hell? What the hell, Navya? You're saying this podcast is called What the Hell, Navya? I have at least three What the Hell, Navya episodes in a day. Hi. 
and we're back uh, on has it aged well we have meghnath with us and we're discussing uh, rang de basanti so before we went into the break uh, we were asked we were talking about the rehabilitation arc of the uh, atul kulkarni character um, there's that one line when uh, they get beaten up on the india gate protest and mm. uh, his superior says ki tumne apni hi sarkar ke khilaf morcha nikala tumhe shayad nahi aati uske muh pe chai phekta hai aur maarta hai usko fir yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. a comment on uh, How politics will? There's a line I, also I which a, says that uh, uh, Rajniti me. Rajniti me, you just bad bad you made a key. But uh, the funny thing is, so not a funny thing. So I was watching this today again. I mean, we have moved past for very fast forward yeah, into yeah, in towards the so, movie. So, but the it's okay, right? Yeah, Or is it it's like? It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so there is this scene where uh, you know that they're protesting and. Khunjala. Khunjala. I mean, literally, it was going on. And uh, police come. They beat. I I I I I I don't know why I blanked it out. I don't know, know why blanked out. out But at some point Atul Kulkarni takes the 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 and and beats the shit out of a policeman. Yeah, right? that was right. beautiful. Yeah. And it <laughs> <laughs> but that but, tells you where Urjita stands about law and order. <laughs> but also also yeah. also after that scene is when the chai scene happens. Right. When he gets beaten up by the thing. Yeah. So I was like subliminal messaging यहाँ पे पहले he gets beaten by the administration and government mm. then he goes and tries to find redemption in politics then he gets beaten by politics also ah. and then he is like last resort kya hai ab iske baad like government fail ho gaya jo hamari sarkar thi politics fail ho gaya jo hamara party tha now what the fuck am i supposed to do mm, essentially yeah. and also in the the interesting that you mentioned it that one scene jisme wo maarta hai uske thoda 5 second pehle uski shakal pe pura dikhta hai uska transformation yes the khun chal Where he yes. sees people beating uh, them up, uh, yeah. police beating up the yeah. people, yeah. and then he sees those guys, the politician, who are there. He sees those guys, the politician, who are there. And he sees those guys, the politician, who are there. And he sees those guys, the politician, who are there. And he sees those guys, the politician, who are there. And he sees those guys, the politician, who are there. And he sees those guys, the politician, who are there. And he sees those guys, the politician, who are there. And he sees those guys, the politician, who are there. And he sees those guys, the politician, who are there. And he sees those guys, the politician, who are there. And he sees those guys, the politician, who are there. And he sees those guys, the politician, who are there. And he sees those guys, the politician, who are there. And he sees those guys, the politician, who are there. And he sees those guys, the politician, who are there. And he sees those guys, the politician, who are there. And he sees those guys, the politician, who are there. And he sees those guys, the politician, who are there. And he sees those guys, the politician, who are there. And he sees those guys, the politician, who are there. And he sees those guys, Also, uh, I, I feel like we're talking about Atul Kulkarni. Yes, lot, I mean he was but, great in the uh, movie. He was yeah. great. So just one last point. Mm. Uh, so Atul Kulkarni starting me, uska dikha hai ki ye sara sangi pura uska yeah. wo character dikha hai. Yeah. But then this one scene where we can see his interests also. ठीक है वो documentary के लिए जब उनको कोई actor नहीं मिलना रहता है they are all sitting ऐसे पीछे से आपको यहाँ पे नहीं मिलेंगे इंटरेस्टेड ओके बट वो नहीं बोलेगा इज देख कहाँ मिलेंगे हम ये एक्टर्स मेरी मूवी के लिए एंड ही दिस इज सुबह सो देन ही देख कि आपको कहीं पे भी नहीं मिलेंगे ऐसे रैंडमली एंड देन एंड देन शी इज लाइक एक्सेट्रा डायलॉग 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 खून नहीं वो Yeah. <laughs> and then right there he says the entire thing oh, yeah, without yeah, breathing yeah, that yeah. was breathless yeah, before yeah, breathless yeah. <laughs> so ye movie ka jab bhi preview wo time pe bhi wo log bahut soch rahe the simply because of the uh, defense minister ko maarne wala scene oh. so for that so, jab bhi huh. movie ka screening hua tha to you know this right तो उन्होंने जो प्रोड्यूसर है रॉनिंग स्क्रू वाला उसने ये नरेट किया था कि ये मूवी की स्क्रीनिंग के टाइम पे उन्होंने डिफेंस मिनिस्टर को बुलाया था टू वॉच द मूवी डिफेंस मिनिस्टर को बुलाया था 2006 में कौन था पता नहीं एनीवे गो आई विल गूगल इट या हां बट लाइक सो डिफेंस मिनिस्टर को उसने बीच में बैठाया था एक साइड में वहीदा रहमान एक साइड में किरण खेर ऐसे ही सो बेसिकली तो ऐसे कंफर्टेबल में हुआ था कि भाई मतलब औरतें आई डोंट नो व्हाट दे वर थिंकिंग मतलब लेकिन नहीं थोड़ा बिकॉज़ ही वाज अ फैन ऑफ वहीदा रहमान राइट राइट तो दोनों को बैठाया था यू नो थोड़ा वो ऐसे हेरिटेज प्रेस्टीज वगैरह ये सब करने के लिए इन दोनों को बैठाया था एंड सो दे दे वर लाइक सिटिंग ऐसे विद बेटेड बट दे वर वेटिंग कि फक ये क्या बोलेगा क्या बोलेगा क्या बोलेगा एंड आफ्टर द मूवी ही गॉट अप and then he was like amazing movie and then uh, this guy he asked ronnie screw wala yeah. he's the producer he only asked him ki uh, but what do you think about the defense minister getting killed he's yeah. like he was an asshole he said deserve to get killed <laughs> so that oh, nice, this ronnie nice. screw wala i don't know if it's there anywhere online yeah. he hamare college mein jab hi wo aaye the tabhi unhone bataya tha ah, okay. yeah so, i mean so, he was the literal depiction of general dyer in that movie yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't <laughs> think any politician would be like oh, i see myself it, no i don't think so yeah. like, <laughs> so there were two defense ministers uh, i mean they must have changed mm-hmm. Uh, it was Pranab Mukherjee at some point and AK Antony at some point. So I don't know. Might exactly. be AK Antony. Seem yeah, like the guy yeah, who yeah. will be like <laughs> I don't like that guy because AK Antony was a simple man. Yeah. 
I don't think Pranam Mukherjee would also be like, "Ha, I, I see myself in." No, <laughs> I don't think so either. Uh, which is what I actually wanted to ask you. So even on the Wikipedia page of the movie, mm-hmm. it says on Rang De Basanti's release, the Film Certification Board of India sought the views of the Indian Defence Ministry due to scenes that depicted mm-hmm. the use of MiG-21 yeah. f- fighter aircraft. After viewing the movie, the ministry found no problems and allowed UTV to, to release the film. I, that's unthinkable today. That if yeah. you portray anything one, in relatively negative light, I'll I'll government. tell you why. Yeah. I this is this was I was thinking about this also. There is literally just one scene where they actually show a MiG twenty one, and up, that huh. is in a dream. And oh, really? that is, it's a dream ah, that it was uh, up in a dream. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah, was. Yeah. It was a dream. I don't remember who was Sid. Having, Sid, Sid was it. having yeah, this yeah, dream yeah. where uh, he imagines uh, like this defense minister as General Dyer, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So ah. like General Dyer is firing, and then he suddenly becomes the defense minister, mm-hmm. and yeah. he does goes like Jai Hind, right. and he's firing at Madhavan. Yeah. yeah. Right. Then Madhavan gets hit by the bullets, and his ja- he's like, "Are cool he's jacket, sexy jacket, jacket bro. Karan, sexy jacket, current, current, your sexy jacket, खराब हो रहा है यार. That was hard." Heartbreaking, and then it shows like this MiG exploding, mm. right? But that MiG is like I think half a second, and then it explodes. Mm. But other than that, uh, I didn't see any uh, like real plane being shown, right? Because even so, there is this iconic scene which is on the poster where they are like jumping, jumping, right? bare, bare chested. Bare chested. Yeah. Uh, so I noticed something there. So they are running right mm. through a field, and there are barbed wire in front of them, and a plane is coming from the other side from the runway. Mm. Then uh, there is a weird cut where they go, like I don't know how the barbed wire just come behind them, mm. and then they are like running towards the plane, and there's a CGI plane that comes and takes off, mm. and then they do that whole jumping scene where they are looking at it. I was like, how did the barbed wire? आगे से पीछे कैसे चला गया? Uh. Because this that might be a restrict. It was it was a it was an air force plane. Right. Uh, how did they go inside? Somewhere the art director of this movie is saying sorry to you. Sorry, na chal na. Or you were saying it was uh, it was deliberately cut out. I mean the. I don't know if they if they showed them jumping in or they like ऐसे काट के अंदर से चले गए. I don't. I mean might be. Who hmm. knows? They were wild children. Maybe it was too uh, symbolic of crossing the border. I don't think it's enough. No, I, I, I doubt it. This I is the it. same logic as that poet ne bola ki blue curtain hai to uska matlab kya hai? Kitna sad hai. A poet ne ka poet ka matlab tha blue curtain hai usme kya hai? I think maybe this is one yeah. of those things. So we spoke about them uh, the uh, uh, defense minister hmm. getting killed, right? Hmm. But so which brings me to the last act of the movie hmm. which I have a lot of problems with. Yeah. Um I think these uh So simply put, I wanna post. Wait before you come to the last yeah, part of yeah. the movie, I have another Easter egg. Yes. Okay. Um, there is a scene where Wahida Rahman and all these kids are gathered there, and she is talking about where Ajay is going away. Ah. Right. And they yeah, yeah, come yeah. for yeah, whatever. Yeah, correct. For a good. And bye. then she is like talking to uh the colonel, like you know, Colonel Sahab the, his father was. Ah, ah. He died bravely, etc. Then I found out that this is the first of the country. My second is the other. Then they briefly show the colonel's photo. Hmm. Guess who the colonel is. I will show you the photo. Is it an actor? Uh, yes. Popular actor? Yes. Dharmendra. It would be very uh, unlikely if you actually guess this. So I'll just hmm. show you. Okay. Who is this? <laughs> oh, you don't recognize him. I think it's too. See, whoever it is. No, that's John Abraham. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, he played one of the ones dad in the I movie. I mean, dead dad. Photo just showed up, and I took a <laughs> screenshot. I'm like, I was showing it to people in the office. Yeah. At that's least five John people Abraham, said no? John. Yeah, that looks very much like John, John Abraham. Are you sure? I How? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not John Abraham. No. Listen, I found Easter eggs, so please. <laughs> If it's not, hai, then it's, it's John Abraham's body double. <laughs> go on, go on. I'm, I'm actually gonna, today. I'm actually gonna Google John Abraham Rangde Basanti and see if anything shows shows up. Did you Google it? Uh, no, I didn't. I just saw this and I was like, I show, I showed it to like people in the office. Who is this? Uh, I think four people said it's John Abraham. Three people didn't recognize it. Now you are like the Arjun fourth Ampire. person. But also Arjun Rampal and John Abraham are the same genre of actors. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's also true. That's I same think we genre might have, of uh, actors. Might have uh, like bumped into something exclusive. But I was talking about the last act of the movie. Mm-hmm. I think these uh, characters get very easily convinced to just kill people. 
okay uh they get they want to sukhi is up- opposing them so he's much? opposing and all of their uh, all of their reasoning to justify it is not strong enough for me to go <laughs> along with it <laughs> Why? Why do you think Sukhi is opposing them? Because he sounds like the kind of guy who'd be up for something like that. But Sukhi is, is also opposing? shown as a coward right from the beginning. I feel like. Hmm. No, I think he's in- innocent. Uh, he's. Or he's he might the be most, the youngest. He's also. the most boyish yeah. of them he all. Youngest, yeah. Youngest, yeah. Youngest, yeah. Hoga yeah. 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 कि तुम पागल हो गए क्या कर रहे हो कि हाँ उड़ा दो सबको सबको उड़ा दो फिर. And he's also the one who's given the least backstory. सीड के कैरेक्टर का ये है कि फादर डजेंट पे अटेंशन टू हिम एंड आल्सो डज अ डिफेंस कैंप या एंड डीजे एज बी एस्टैब्लिश्ड पांच साल पास हो के आ गए फिर भी ही इज नॉट हैप्पी विद मॉम मॉम का भी बैक स्टोरी दिया उसको सू को भी तो कुछ बैक स्टोरी नहीं है दैट्स ट्रू एक्चुअली इवन सोहा अली खान को कोई बैक स्टोरी नहीं है सोहा अली खान कहां से टपक के आई लाइक आई मीन व्हाट इज हैपनिंग देयर या दैट्स ट्रू राइट शी इज अ स्टूडेंट शी इज फ्रेंड्स विद ऑल ऑफ देम That's the most great, that's one a note great backstory, backstory. <laughs> yeah. which you just thought of. She's, she's friends with yeah. all of them, and yeah. and she's even the, to be fair, Atul Kulkarni को भी कोई backstory नहीं है. But है ना उसे. There's enough ना कि वो like he doesn't want like we established. उसने लाल टिक्का लगा तो ऐसे नहीं. शाखा के लिए वो काम करना चाहता है. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want money. So there is some. I mean, we can mm. we can imagine what his sure, backstory is. Sure, got it, got it. Yeah. Uh, mm. But yeah, I mean, that's the point where, especially this time when I was watching the movie, when they kill the defense minister, is when I started to lose interest. Where I was like, "Ke uh, defense minister ko maar ke aap anda burji khane aa gaye ho." You know, it's, yeah. I mean, it's very angrily eating anda <laughs> burji like. <laughs> Amir Khan's face suddenly transforms after one scene, yeah. Yeah. right? Where uh, like after Madhavan dies, the hospital, hospital ka wo ye scene hota hai na, mara mari ka. Uh, like before that, he was like clean shaven, looking for bal. Suddenly he becomes like sweaty, a thoda sa usme stubble aa gaya, and like you know bruises. And I mean he did. But सारे इस तरह का अंडा बुर्जी खा रहा है. Yes, like, but he he looks much better in the that half of the movie than he looked before. Amir Khan? Yeah, like the angry mm-hmm. Amir Khan. Mm. looks much better than the boyish weirdo that he was in college you think exactly like preeti zinta from dil chahta hai what Why? which is an episode <laughs> you may or may not have heard <laughs> obviously but we recorded it uh but i mean did you guys not say th- uh, i mean uh, did you not like think that it was too uh, the flip was too uh, too easy that and then said Gan no, goes ahead and no, decides to kill his dad. No, I think if your friend gets because killed and अगर उसको ऐसा बोला उसको ही गाली मिल रही है national television पे ah, anybody pe. would feel that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then isn't then your uh, which was a criticism that was faced by the movie even when it came out that then it's crossing over to that extremist uh, it ideology. Is. It is. So you you do you agree that then it's a cautionary so, tale? It is also so. It is also uh, uh, you know juxtaposed. That's why with revolutionaries yeah, during the yeah, independence, yeah. right? Because there are so many dialogues interspersed in the movie where Sid is constantly questioning what this country has become. Right. It's like, hey, these people will die and we will give them a country. But now, see what is happening. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Which is something I think we all have heard or said at some point yeah. in our lives. And own he's life. also like, ha, I will cut America. What is the difference? I want to get out of this garbage dump. Which is also dump. so true. How many people are doing this today? Yeah, exactly. So I think uh, after a point, I, and you're right, you, best friend dies, hmm. like very heroically, hmm. right? Also, before best friend dies, they do a mock funeral. Hmm. Uh, that we are oh, that, that foreshadowing, foreshadowing oh again. Oh God! Uh, yeah. Then uh, mother is alone, right? Uh, then उसको live TV पे नौसिख किया भी बोल दिया. Hmm. Protest किया तो लो- लोगों ने उनको आके मारा. Yeah. Like बहुत मारा उनको actually. हाँ. तोड़ दिया. Yeah. And then yeah. Atul Kulkarni beats up the cop, then goes and gets beaten up by political party. Right. Comes yeah. back. and like bleeding and they show that also right where he's inside the thing he's bleeding like this and the doctor is like are aapko bhi stitches lagane padenge he's all he's there during that mm-hmm. time right. as well yeah, right? yeah, yeah. i think that whole entire sequence of i think within a few hours is supremely dramatic for them as characters exactly and Can also I? also the uh, sorry just the one yeah, last sure. thing uh, uh, the way you mentioned that thoda extremist nahi ho gaya but yeah. also imagine freedom struggle ke time pe ye log ja rahe marne warne general dial ko aur tabhi तो एक बोलता गाइस आई एम एक्सट्रीमिज्म नहीं कर रहे थोड़ा या या सो इनफैक्ट जब ही गांधी को भी पूरा मोर्चा करना पड़ा था जस्ट टू से नॉन वायलेंस करेंगे गाइस नो बट इफ यू वांट कैन आई इफ आई मे मेक द आर्गुमेंट मेक नॉट द स्टेप्स यू जस्ट डिस्क्राइब 
दैट आपका दोस्त मर गया फिर उसका कैरेक्टर असैसिनेशन हो गया एयर पे एंड देन द पुलिस शोड अप एंड बीट कप इज इन दैट द सीक्वेंस ऑफ इवेंट्स वी सी इन मोस्ट प्रोटेस्ट्स नाउ आई वी डू वी डू वी डू एंड आई अग्री लाइक इट इट डज शो लाइक अ फाइनल सॉल्यूशन टाइप ऑफ थिंग यू नो एक्सट्रीम रेजोल्यूशन एक्सेट्रा बट देन दे आल्सो शो इन अ वे दैट योर जस्टिफिकेशन कैन बी एज गुड एज एनीबडी एल्सेस जस्टिफिकेशन राइट फॉर एग्जांपल आर फ्रीडम फाइटर्स वेयर अगेन इन द इन दोज सीन्स ऑल्सो राइट कि मुझे आज़ादी मेरी दुल्हन है एंड ऑल दोज लाइन्स दैट दे हैव वेयर दीज गाइज आर फॉर गेटिंग एवरी अदर डिफरेंसेस एंड देन कमिंग टूगेदर टू बेसिकली गेट इंडिपेंडेंस राइट एंड इट इज डन इन एन वेरी एक्सट्रीम वे एंड दिस वॉज द आर्ग्यूमेंट हैपनिंग ड्यूरिंग द इंडिपेंडेंट स्ट्रगल ऑल्सो राइट वेयर गांधीज मेथड वॉज वन मेथड बट भगत सिंह डजेंट नेसेसरीली अग्री विथ इट ही हैज दिस वन लाइन वेयर जो ऊंचा सुनते हैं उनको धमाके ही करने पड़ते हैं राइट एंड देयर ही बेसिकली देन वेंट एंड थ्रू अ बॉम्ब इन टू पार्लियामेंट एंड देन वेंट टू बेसिकली जेल एंड देन दैट होल सीक्वेंस हैपन्स राइट You, you know there was a point where general dyer killed people in jallianwala yeah. bag then uh, they also show uh, what's his name tilak getting beaten up uh, no no lala rajpat lala rajpat rai sorry yeah. getting beaten up brutally yeah. right so there were like these sequence of events which they also tried to juxtapose it with this current time correct yeah. मेनी पैरल्स दे शोड राइट अगेन दैट ड्रीम विद डिफेंस मिनिस्टर बिकमिंग जनरल डायर एंड ऑर्डरिंग शॉर्ट राइट सो ऑल्सो दिस इज फ्रॉम भगत सिंह परस्पेक्टिव यू थिंक अबाउट इट इट इज वाई देर इज नो महात्मा गांधी कैरेक्टर एक्जैक्टली एंड इन द इन द एंड सीन इफ यू रिमेंबर सीड इज टॉकिंग ऑन द ये रेडियो रेडियो एंड सम वन दिस प्रिंसिपल ऑफ अ स्कूल ऑल्सो लाइक क्वेश्चन हिम कि डू यू रियली थिंक दिस वॉज द राइट वे टू डू इट डू यू रियली थिंक दिस इज डू यू हैव सेट अ वेरी बैड प्रेस Yeah, yeah, right yeah, you know yeah. very bad example and he's like yeah sorry <laughs> like sorry <laughs> क्या करते मेरे दोस्त को गाली मार दिया उसने और मेरा ऐसा वैसा हो गया गिव्स अ गुड जस्टिफिकेशन आई डोंट एग्जैक्टली रिमेम्बर बट ही आई जस्ट रिमेम्बर हिम सेइंग यस सर यू आर राइट सॉरी अच्छा आई हैव अनदर ईस्टर एग सिंस वी आर एट द फाइनल सीन यस राइट सो आई हैव फाइनल सीन ईस्टर एग ओके सो देयर इज अ सीन वेयर दे गो इन टू द रेडियो स्टेशन राइट देन दे आमिर खान एज वन गन राइट ही इज लाइक हेराल्डिंग एवरी वन की निकलो निकलो कुछ नहीं होगा देर लाइक निकलो निकलो सबको खाली कर रहे राइट देर इज वन गार्ड दो आउट साइड हु इज स्लीपिंग फर्स्ट राइट एंड वेन यू ट्राइज टू रश इन साइड अतुल कुलकर्णी जम्प्स स्नैच इज गन एंड फायर इट इन दर ट्वाइस राइट एंड देन ही इज लाइक आप भी निकलो एवरीबडी निकलो दैट गार्ड द गार्ड वॉज ओल्ड दैट आई गेट फ्रॉम हिज परस्पेक्टिव यार क्या यार नहीं करना है जाओ गया वो राइट देन दे क्लोज ऑल द डोर एवरी Sid starts speaking, right? Ki you know, humne defense minister ko mara, etc. Mm-hmm. They show this beautiful scene, like which is like them standing in the waiting room. Mm-hmm. Did you notice that where Amir Khan is standing, the gun is beside him in a dustbin? Oh. Yeah, it is in a dustbin, and then there are so uh, Amir Khan comes and gives him a cup. Uh, like to sukhi to drink something right mm-hmm. so he's sitting in the corner and drinking and then there is a tray but there are four cups on it so in that there are five cups and those are four people which means they're waiting for sid to come out and give him the oh. cup also and that was like such a great because they kept showing it like twice or thrice and they like, they're trying to say something so i paused and i looked at it properly and then i saw a gun is in a dustbin and there are five cups No, so what does it? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's an Easter egg. So five. So what it so implies? They are hoping for him to come out alive. Yeah. That's also what? that, uh-huh. but also one one of the things that I think they're also trying to signify is that after the doors are closed and the, he starts talking, mm. they don't need violence anymore. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, that's that. what right. I mean. Right. So like yeah, the yeah, gun yeah, is yeah, in a yeah, dustbin, yeah. right? Ah, so it's yeah, like yeah. ab mujhe zarurat nahi hai iska. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. right and so and plus they were hopeful that their friend will actually come out of this and then they will enjoy that oh cup man. of coffee yeah, yeah, yeah so nice. uh, the music of the film i think still pretty evergreen i don't excellent. think the shows uh, i don't think the songs have aged at soundtrack, all soundtrack excellent the music they play during the assassination of that defense minister mm. that fade up with the like dang 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 it's so beautiful yeah, i was like yeah. dude amazing yeah. and even that dream sequence where the dire thing even the background score there is just lovely yeah and also i i realized that uh, 
मूवी में भले आर माधवन कैमियो कर रहा है बट देन दे माइट हैव द राइटर्स माइट हैव रियलाइज्ड दैट इवन दो दीस गाइस दे आर फीलिंग अ लॉट फॉर हिम आफ्टर ही डाइज और एज एन ऑडियंस हमको उससे कनेक्ट करने का इतना मौका नहीं मिला बिकॉज इज अ कैमियो दैट इज व्हाई दे एडेड द टू बिन बताए सो आई थिंक दैट्स व्हाई बिकॉज लाइक बिकॉज वी लुक एट हिम फ्रॉम सोहा अली खान्स पर्सपेक्टिव राइट द लव विद व्हिच ही लुक्स एट हिम एंड आई थिंक एंड देन वी सी हिज लव फॉर द आर्मी द इंडियन एयर फोर्स एंड वी सी ऑल दैट जस्ट इन दैट वन सॉन्ग एंड दैट इज व्हाई इमीडिएटली आफ्टर दैट ही डाइज एंड दैट्स व्हाई वी फील राइट सो मच अबाउट हिज डेथ दैट्स ट्रू सो इट्स अ कैरेक्टर बिल्डिंग सॉन्ग आई लव दैट या So where do you think? I mean, uh, there's been a recent spate of jingoistic movies, right? Where mm. the nationalism has been very like, l- mm. like shouting at the rooftop type. Yeah. Whereas something like a uh, Rangde Basanti, even though it has an army man mm. at the mm. almost at the center of it, it still doesn't go overboard. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, where do you think we've lost that nuance in? in, in it, it, they Hindi did cinema. a very clever thing mm. with with that whole mixed situation, right? Mm. Uh, he doesn't just die though. Mm. He dies after saving a village. Yeah. Right. So basically, the plane just doesn't crash. He crashes it in an open mm. field and doesn't escape because he wants to save the village, mm. which he was going to crash yeah. on. Right. So even even in that situation, Balidan dete vakt bhi usne apne baare mein nahi socha, baaki ke logo ke baare mein socha. They had it that little bit of nuance there, which I think changes a lot of things. Mm. Right. Where a it humanizes him. but they also like then immediately like had this one uh, uh, one side where sacrificing guy saved everyone and there's this defense minister who's calling him a nosik here yeah mm. so then that works there right, right. where they built up mar madhavan so much through this song mm. through these little yeah, things yeah, yeah, through yeah. that funeral thing where he's like nahi main desh ke liye marunga types yeah, you know yeah. and then there's this asshole mm. which is basically <laughs> then you're like of course he had to die yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you know that uh, instead of Amir Khan, Rakesh Om Prakash Mehra initially had Manoj Bajpayee in his mind to play oh. that role, the DJ role. I think it would have worked. <laughs> it would have. Yeah. Manoj Bajpayee, no, 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 no. Manoj Bajpayee would. <laughs> Manoj Bajpayee as Atul Kulkarni would be great. Okay. I mean, at, as Atul Kulkarni as his as character. As the character, yeah. yes. So right at the end of the film, after spoiler alert, they all spoiler alert, they all die. Mm. Um, there is this montage where uh, students and youth across the country has woken up, oh, where they say, "Okay, we will not let this sacrifice go to waste." Yeah. And now we understand. But oh, they did wake up though. Yeah. So I wanted to ask though the immediate reaction was the Jessica Lal uh, verdict. And I think Anna has a movement. Mm. That whole candle march, which they show in Rangde right, Basanti, right. we have seen so many instances of mm. during that period, mm. which is Anna has a yeah. uh, of the same scenes being repeated yeah. at you know India Gate, mm. even in Bombay, even in all these places. So that protest scene, I think, I mean, I don't know, but somewhere people did get very inspired by that movie, oh, yeah, especially the middle class. Yeah. Or yeah. yeah. corruption se ladna hai. So it did have those parallels yeah. there. Even in the anti-CIA protests, I could, I think yeah. you could see the oh, parallels yeah, uh, to some extent. Do you think we should stop doing CPR tone flashbacks when it comes to pre-independence India? No. Because it worked here. It worked. It For sure, it worked here. Our history textbook yeah. CPR color. <laughs> Yeah, no, because <laughs> that's why it works. Because they would so pass well. on from yeah. elder yeah. brother to younger brother. No, no, no. We don't buy new ones. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, sorry. It's, it's, <laughs> it, there is this uh, uh, epic scene. I'll tell you why it worked here. Uh, there is this scene now where they are sitting on this fort on top, and then everybody is discussing, you know, whatever. That oh, oh, Nasi kya bol diya, whatever. And now he is basically. Hmm. So. Amir Khan says, "Mar do usko," yeah. and then like they like, do like, they they do that whole sequence, right? Oh, Where yeah. they are the characters yeah, from the right past there. and the present, yeah. Yeah. and then they are doing dialogues. They like, "What are you saying?" And then Rajguru also basically says, "Ki ham aise kaise kisi ko mar sakte hai," mm-hmm. and then like so it's like this juxtaposition is so well yeah. done in that scene. And just yeah. for that, yeah. I yeah. admit, Sepia is great. Works, yeah, 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 worth it. Yeah. And also, uh, actually. the scenes from the kakori kan mm-hmm. and uh, chandrashekhar azad's escape mm-hmm. excellent mm-hmm. like that whole motorcycle sequence and the whole th- like slow motion me everything is happening ravan ka sar gir raha hai mm-hmm. and yeah. in the end when uh, amir khan dies uh, he's looking at chandrashekhar himself, azad and chandrashekhar yeah, yeah. azad is looking at and they're uh, smiling at each other yeah the It's smile where beautiful. he just drops his gun and yes. then the guys like why is he smiling yeah and it's too late <laughs> yeah, by exactly. the time he realizes why he's smiling it's too yeah. late i think that that's also yeah. nice so also sorry sorry another thing not 
that you mentioned hmm. all the scenes uh, so in the unreleased unreleased uh, footage there's this one scene एंड वाला सीन ठीक है जहाँ पे वो सब मर जाते हैं तो ये अनरिलीज फुटेज में उन्होंने ये भी ऐड किया था जिसमें वो सब का डेड बॉडी एक एक करके वो लाते हैं सोहाली खान लुक्स एट द डेड बॉडीज एंड शी डजेंट है I would yeah. say, like you know, like while while the credits are rolling, these no. bodies are being coming out, and like Sohali Khan is just standing there and watching the bodies just go before her, yeah. like this, dire 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 dire. One That's a one. great credit sequence. And also, okay, the uh, the mo- how the movie ended. It's a freeze frame. Of them laughing. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So they yes. did not even show that. I mean, they were not shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were yeah. not shot. Yeah. So why but do you think? But that's too much of a downer for an ending, no? Oh. We still mm-hmm. want to send people back somewhat satisfied. I think. I think. I mean, no, I think maybe the reason why they added that freeze frame because I remember watching it for the first time. At least as a child, it literally shook me because uh. it's like I understand what's happening, but why are they not showing it? So we have the same look of shock on yeah. our face. That anybody would if they were actually witnessing. I have another like theory about that. Hmm. I think they showed that freeze frame was because they were laughing, and that is the last thing you want to remember oh, about them. Oh yeah. Not yeah. them dying, yeah, like yeah, brutally exactly. being shot, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. The last thing that you want to remember mm-hmm. about these two mm-hmm. characters is them laughing, like you know, like college and the, kids. And the joke kids. was also so stupid, right? It's like, अरे मैं सोचता हूँ कि हमारे बच्चे, you know, like uh, yeah. गोरे होंगे या काले होंगे, ha 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 ha, क्या नॉटन किए तू? And yeah. then they show that. That scene. Yeah. But Dude, that even the way Suki dies, he's like, "Yar, I'm too far away." Ha, I'm too far away. Oh man. Gaya. That was a really yeah. hurtful yeah. moment. Yeah. Very hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> but they show they show Suki die. Yeah. They show um, both of them, Atul Kulkarni and him die yeah. mm-hmm. with like uh-huh. holding uh-huh. hands. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They don't show these two die though. Hmm. So these two characters, I think, are their redemption characters, sort of, which is like main. Like these are the characters you need to remember in this form. Yeah. Yeah. But I the think. others, eh? Mar do. No, it's not. I don't think. <laughs> you mean? Uh, you Let's mean just Sid? Your first explanation. <laughs> Sid also, and Amir, right? Yeah. Hmm? Sid and Amir, you're talking. Sid and Amir. Yeah. yeah. So they were also the top build actors on the movie. Also, <laughs> also can we talk about? Uh, everybody knows this. Even though it is not spelled out in the movie that Sid was in love with Sohali Khan, but really? because he acted so well. Yes, yes. There is one. There is one. Uh, Two bin batai mein scene. Yes, yes. there is one, one scene. Oh, yeah. So he was in love. Yeah. yeah. Everybody he, knows that he was in love. There, there was, in love with her. Yeah. was subtext. Yeah. But yeah, there was subtext, and he never says it out loud. But uski mm. aakho se pata chalta he was in love with mm-hmm. her. So on a rewatchability scale, I'm uh, Meghnath. One being. A relic of its time, ten being totally, absolutely holds up. Where would you, how much would you score? The percent? only dated line that I found in this movie was that one line: "Ki ladki ki tarah chugli karna band kar." It's okay. not because uh, the character also. No, but yeah, he's a misogynistic character. Wo, dekha na, that, even how do we show not he's a misogynistic character in the least possible amount of time? That's also true. No, the line no, that I'm... has dated is Anupam Khir saying, "Tum SMS generation wale." <laughs> <laughs> like uncle, ko Snapchat ke baare mein mat bata. That's bada. literally dated. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, I did not find anything that that has. Anything that is dated, like okay. I still enjoyed watching. Yeah, the if movie. anything, it's there's a relevant. reason why I have seen it seven times now. Yeah. Uh, I think ten. Okay. Yeah. Urjita. Ten. I think I would also go with uh, nine point five uh, because, is like I said, the for? BBC uh, offices don't really hold up, and I don't is agree. Is that really your reason? Uh, yeah. I mean, as an opening scene of the movie, oh you know, ye log hote, ye log hote. Point five mark. I say perfect score, to kisi ko de hi nahi sakte. Ab to intellectual hai. Aaj 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 Okay, okay, fair okay. enough. Yeah. That's yeah. a better point. Yeah. The freeze frame you didn't like, yeah. Not the freeze frame. The the fact that they are willing to kill and at such a short moment's notice. The defense minister. Yes. Okay. The defense yeah. minister, and then he's meet the Anupam Kher of this generation. <laughs> meet meet the principal who called yeah. Sid. He's yeah. like, "Beta, you have done good. Yeah. 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 Not good. Not good. Cool. That brings us to the end of this episode. Meghnath, where can one follow you? Any shows you want to plug? Your social media handles. Yeah, follow me on me Meghnath on Twitter. 
Meghnad S on Instagram. Mm-hmm. I think after this episode releases, I'm going to do a bunch of reels now. I have some ideas okay. on the Easter eggs that I've found. Wo waste nahi yeah. jaane dunga. Yeah. So please, if you want to watch those reels, come to my handle on Instagram and listen to you on Eli. And, Eli yeah, and I was coming to that. <laughs> and <laughs> please uh, watch my new show. Explain like I'm ten. There is a separate YouTube channel for it. You will find it in the description below. Yep. We get an expert. We ask them basic questions. They give long answers. And there's a third person. Who has no clue what is happening on the show? So that's fun. <laughs> kind of like this show. <laughs> uh, the third person I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, mystery. I'm the expert. Hello. <laughs> Where can one find you, Urjita? I'm a writer and a stand-up comedian. You can uh, find me at my home. Uh, <laughs> you can you can find me on Twitter at the rate Vani Urjita and uh, on Twitter pe mat jao. You know what? <laughs> Just uh, go for my Instagram at the rate Urjita Vani. And I am at Abbas Momin on Twitter and Abbas Momin eighty eight on Instagram. Uh, all right, that brings us to the end. Uh, Sir Faroshi ki tamanna hamesha rakhiye apne dil mein no. and uh, fight for your country yes. and uh, be a good citizen. And uh, with that, until next time, bye bye.